Good morning, everybody. My name is Corey. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. On this channel, I talk about the cryptocurrency XRP and Ripple, healthy habits, and EDM. It's a lot, but that's what I love. And if you do what you love, you'll never work another day in your life. At least that's what I'm hoping for, because right now I've got two kids to support and put through college, so I'm working every day of my life. Um, but I'm starting this website, and I'm starting this company because... Uh, you got to start somewhere. you got to put in those little steps for a brighter financial future, right? All right, so let me just read this little blurb. Uh, this is about what the company is and, and me. Um, iSymatic is an idea that was born on January of 2018. The point of this website and this show is to provide you with information on the new technology coming to the financial markets to stay prepared and stay ahead of the curve. It's to provide you with information on healthy habits like meditation and diet, and last but not least, to provide you with some uplifting, consciousness-expanding music so that when your incredibly well-thought-out financial decisions finally come to fruition, we are all well-rounded to take on the world with a new set of tools and a killer soundtrack. Every day a little better. That's how I live my life. That's how. That's why the company lives by this slogan. Funny name, right? I'm glad you think so. It comes from a scientist named Han Jenny coined the term cymatics. He discovered that sound vibrations at specific frequencies cause sand or water to form unique and beautifully symmetrical patterns, similar to those found in nature. But if you change the tone, the pattern breaks into chaos. I believe that we are all unique, just like these discovered patterns, and require life on our own frequency in order to feel the most structurally intact, healthy, healthy, happy, wealthy, and wise. So the point of this company is to provide you with the tools in order to get as close to that point best version of yourself that you can be so i hope that uh you guys can smash that like button or be adults and just like hit the like button because it improves the video ratings on youtube and uh, subscribe to the channel head over to the website check out all the new information check out crypto charts um you can i'm gonna have stuff to buy new music that i'm producing um if you guys have music and your music producers which is going to be sweet. I'm really hoping to bring some music producers onto this channel and talk about sound design and things like that. Uh, send me your tracks because I'd love to put them on the show. Um, and head over and check out the latest articles. I write most, I write all of the articles as of now. I'm hoping that I won't need to do all of the work in the future, but right now um, you can come over here and check out some articles on uh, you know staying healthy, eating less sugar. Um, I'm going to be putting out an ebook on everything that you need to know uh, what cryptocurrency is, um, what cryptocurrencies are out there, the utilities, the different kinds of ones, how to trade, how to use wallets. Uh, basically, I'm making a book so that uh, you can teach your mom and dad how to trade on crypto. Let's get everybody involved. First movers, first educators, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's get off of iCymatic and move on to a little bit of the news. I haven't done much in the crypto news for a little while, um, but I do love this site. One of, you know, it's one of my favorite ones. It's called Today on Chain. It basically just like grabs the feeds from all of the different news uh, places. And so like really quick, if you like go through all of the headlines, you can just get an idea of where the market sentiment is. Um, but this morning, it's it's all about Bitcoin falling, um, fraud, uh, new clients demanding um, crypto products. It, this is a positive one right here. Um, but here we go. Bitcoin will never hit 50K. Um, bearish biases, severe financial crises, uh, Bitcoin dominance above 90%, which would which would indicate that there is no alt season at the moment, that altcoins are really going down. It just seems like the sentiment on the market, especially in association with the recent price drop, it's just very negative. Um, but that, I think, is, uh, I think it's just supposed to be that way right now, because if you're into the crypto market at all, you'll know that on September 23rd, the main exchange, uh, the NASDAQ exchange backed, will be coming out. Uh, let's see, back. We launch September 23rd. So Cointelegraph uh, put out this article uh, August 16th. Fact announces September 23rd launch of futures in custody to be platformed in the United States. 
this is a huge deal. This is going to be the first time that the United States recognizes financial and regulatory clarity. Um, Bitcoin is going to be backed. Um, all of the Bitcoin contracts are going to be physically settled in Bitcoin. Uh, backed is going to have to buy Bitcoin on the open market in order to uh, give itself the availability of providing physically backed Bitcoin contracts. Uh, everybody expects that this is going to be the catalyst to mainstream adoption. It's going to really set the prices through the roof. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what I do think is going to happen is we're going to see a push down of the current price in order for um, main institutional buyers and big, big buyers to get the best value before um, it's opened up to uh, mainstream the world. So uh, right now in the short term, I think we're going to see a little bit of a buying dip, probably stay around 9,500 to 10,000 before we go to September 23rd. Well, all hell will break loose and I cannot and won't make a prediction on where Bitcoin is going to go. But this is also going to be the catalyst for the greatest digital asset ever created. I'm not the first person to say that, but XRP is definitely going to be the front runner as soon as they figure out that Bitcoin is slow and old and all these things. Um, I think XRP is better than Bitcoin. You're going to find that definitely on this channel. I've already said XRP is not what I'm really going to be talking about. Uh, today is just a little bit more of a, a general idea of what this show and what this company and website are all about. Um, moving on, though, the general sentiment uh, moving forward. A lot of talk, especially on crypto websites, if you start seeing... Uh, like the normal markets come into the crypto markets, you know that something big is really happening and the sentiment over the markets now is that there's going to be a major recession, that we're all in trouble, that there's going to be this massive financial switch, there's going to be a wealth transfer. Um, I believe that's going to happen. I believe that they've, uh, and, and government uh, have done so many small things to change the rules to make sure that they're put first um, and it's just caused a, a interconnected knot like if, if you're a fisherman like I am and you cast that line out and you left the spool too loose and all that r line just goes <laughs> and just comes right out into stupid ball and you just want to just cut it off that's what the government's doing right now they're looking at this ball of line and they're going you know what we should just cut this thing off and we'll just thread new line, and that's Ripple. Ripple is going to be the threaded new line, the beautiful new point where they're going to be able to funnel everything through. Um, stock markets, this is today, this is right now. Dow futures are going down. Um, if you've been watching the markets, even since last year, seeing these 500 to 1,000 point swings every single day because of these trade wars, it, it it's almost like when the market's down, you're seeing the actual populace uh, sentiment, the actual thought of the population. And when the market's up, it's the Federal Reserve recognizing the thought and saying, we need to pump more money into the market so it doesn't look like we're about to fall and die. Um, so watching the markets, I believe December 2020, the end of the election is going to be the time in which they, they won't really be able to hold it up anymore. Uh, I think that's why that BACT is really coming out in full force early September 23rd. There's going to be a lot happening on October. The SEC has to make a bunch of final decisions on whether or not um, crypto regulations are a certain way. There's going to be a lot of things, and, and I'm going to be bringing you more specific information on that as time moves on. Um, Latest stories, again, see, Crypto Coin Network, we're also still seeing um, mainstream uh, market articles, and this has, usually happens when there's, when there's financial crisis, like around the corner. Um, and I just wanted to bring to your attention, finally, uh, that of all of the nonsense that's going on, out of all of the, the poor sentiment in the market space right now, we've got Ripple XRP sitting with almost no news at all, but yet still coming out from the street with a grade A stock investment. Um, if that doesn't show something, uh, and this definitely should show you that, uh, that they're, they're really pushing for this one. 
Um, but that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you have anything to comment on, please comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and um, help me out as we try to uh, be a little bit better every day. All right, see you in the next one.